Did you know that if ice sank instead of floating, Earth's oceans would be a frozen wasteland? Water is one of the few substances that becomes less dense when it freezes. Most materials contract as they solidify. Their atoms pack closer together, but water expands. That's why ice is about 9% less dense than liquid water, which allows it to float. The reason lies in hydrogen bonding. Each water molecule is polar. Oxygen carries a slight negative charge and hydrogen a slight positive charge. These charges let molecules form hydrogen bonds with each other. In liquid water, these bonds are constantly breaking and reforming, keeping molecules relatively close. But when water freezes, the molecules lock into a hexagonal crystalline lattice. This arrangement maximizes hydrogen bonding, but it forces the molecules farther apart compared to the liquid phase, creating more space between molecules and resulting in lower density. This property has profound consequences for life on Earth. Floating ice creates an insulating layer on lakes and oceans, slowing heat loss and protecting aquatic organisms during winter. If ice sank, bodies of water would freeze from the bottom up, creating solid blocks of ice that would never melt completely. Over time, Earth's liquid water would vanish. Furthermore, this anomaly affects ocean circulation and climate. As seawater cools, it becomes denser and sinks, driving thermohaline circulation, the global conveyor belt of ocean currents that regulates climate. But the fact that surface ice floats prevents complete mixing, stabilizing ecosystems and making seasonal cycles possible.